Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are looking at this figure, this crank that is loaded um, by a 300 pound force in the down direction at this location. This force is going to twist and also going to bend this three quarter inch diameter shaft that is fixed to this uh, wall or support. So in, in, in this specific problem, we are interested in point eight. We are being asked to, to find the bending, the torsional stresses, and also the first principle stress at point eight. Um, actually, the first principle stress is, is going to give us the, the maximum normal stress at that location. So I'll put this uh, model, this uh, picture on the side so you can follow along with the modeling. So let's model this crank. So let's start with the new part. Let's make sure that the units are in the right setting. So let's go to document properties, units, inch, pounds, and seconds. So that's the units that I want. So let's start with a three quarter inch diameter uh, shaft. So let's go to sketch. We're going to select the right plane. Let's do a circle and let's dimension this. This is 0.75 inches and uh, we can Hit OK. And looking at the uh, at the model, this is there is a five inch dimension to the center of the plate, this one quarter inch plate. So we can make this shaft 5.5. So extruded boss base 5.5, and uh, we can select the uh, mid plane so you can bow can go both ways. Let's hit OK. So now let's model the that one quarter inch plate that is five inches away from the wall. So we need to create a uh, quick reference geometry and then plane. Select this as the base and the offset will be five inches. Click on the flip offset so you can go the right direction. And let's hit OK. Uh, we're going to use this to sketch that plate. So select the plane and click on sketch. From here, uh, select these uh, stretch slots. That would be the first point. And approximately, we can select that. We can provide dimensions later so we can we can do dimensions right now so let's go back to the sketch edit sketch this is four inches if you look at the reference and the diameter of the um this end will be um 1.25 and this is asking for the radius, so that would be half, which is 0.625. So we can hit OK. We can go back to our view and um, let's give it a thickness to that. And this is uh, 0.25 or quarter of an inch according to the problem. Make sure you, you have the mid plane selected and hit OK. Lastly, we are uh, modeling the last section, which is uh, this uh, half an inch diameter shaft at the end. Again, we're going to select the same plane and do a sketch. Select the circle. Just hover over until you get the um, the center right there. 
to get that, let's give it some dimensions. This is 0.5. And let's hit OK. So the force is acting um, one and a half inches away from the center of the plate. So we can we can also make that half an inch shaft 1.5 inches. So let's do in this case we're doing blind because we want this to go on the on just one direction and make this 1.5. Once you have that, just hit OK. And uh, we have created the the model. And from here we can specify the material. You can either do it here or you can do it on the simulation, but let's do it here. So the material, we can select the um, steel 1020 and then hit apply and close. So the whole um, model is, is having the same material. So now let's go to the simulation. If you don't have the simulation tab shown, you can go to the add-ins and from here you can select the SOLIDWORKS simulation. I have that already. So let's create a new study. You can rename this as you wish and um, let's hit OK. Since we already assigned a material in the model, so there is no need to uh, reassign because it's already here, 1020 still. There are no connections, so now let's go to the fixtures. It's going to be a fixed fixture. Um, looking at the model, this that end will be fixed to the wall, and that is how you uh, simulate a a fixing. Next, we'll do external load. Right click, select force, and um, this one here will be. Uh, in the IPS unit, so select the the edge first, and then select the direction. Select the um, that face for the um, for the selected direction, and we are going to make that um, to go on on this direction right here. So the force is going up. Uh, looking at the problem, this is supposed to go down. You can just click on reverse direction and put the 300 pound force. And uh, let's hit OK. So you can see here we applied the 300 force. We keep going down the menu, right click on mesh. We can do uh, create mesh. Um, just keep in mind here that the, uh, the finer the mesh, the longer the uh, simulation is going to take. So just keep that in mind. For this uh, problem, we're keeping uh, with uh, default settings. Let's hit OK. That's my mesh. Um, once you're happy with the setting, we can uh, run the study. You can either uh, click here or go back to the mesh and click on uh, on mesh and run and just click it run study so the uh, simulation study has been completed from here um, I'm just going to delete all this so we can uh, start from scratch so the first question that we were asked was to calculate the bending stress at point A on the uh, along the x coordinate. So for that, we just right click on the results, define stress plot, and um, there is an option here for normal stress along on the x uh, coordinate. Select that, change the units and um, 
let's go to charge options and I like to make this floating and let's hit okay so uh, that's our first um, setting right there um, in a minute we are going to read the values so the next question was to calculate the torsional stress at point A so again right click define a stress plot the um the torsional stress along the if you see it here on the x and z coordinates so that's the value that we're looking at x and z which is the second one change the units and floating let's hit okay and lastly the third question is um the first principal stress at that location. So again, in a minute, we will go to the values and compare that to the theoretical results. So right click, define strip, stress plot, and select the first principal stress, change the unit, KSI, and the options to floating. Okay, so we have the three, um, the three uh, main simulations um, being asked. So let's start with the first one. So double click on stress along the X coordinate. So we're interested at, at this location. So we can just go to the top view and um, we can do a pro and we can select this. Um, that location somewhere there so we see that we have um, around 44 46 um, thousand psi or 46 ksi so that will be the um, the value on on this location for the for the stress element at point a bending stress so we'll do the uh, Similar thing with the um, the shear stress at that location. We can do a probe and um, more or less um, this location. So we have a negative 14.4 K uh, KSI or 14,000 PSI. Um, we should verify that the negative sign accounts for the direction of the uh, X, Z, uh, coordinate so 14.4 that's the value around that location at point a and lastly we have the first principal stress so double click and then prove so for this we have uh, 52.669 uh, ksi um, now i'm going to bring up the um, the hand calculations to see um, where we standing and how far is it from the theoretical values so for the first one we obtain uh, 47.1 the second one we got negative 14.5 k psi and the third one, which is the principal stress, we obtain 51.2. So comparing these to um, the two calculations, the simulation versus the theoretical values, we see that the SOLIDWORKS does a pretty good job on, on this type of uh, simulation. And we are within the um, uh, an acceptable uh, percentage error and uh, and that's how you will do this uh, type of simulation in SOLIDWORKS. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.